What do we got here? Alright, well, the first thing, this is my method of flushing a radiator and not getting it all over my garage floor. Uh, first thing I've done is removed the uh, uh, thermostat, and this is the new one, but uh, what I did was I took the old one and snipped these guys off, removed the spring and the insides of this thermostat, so that all I have is a hole, and the rim and the gasket will make up the, the space underneath the um, thermostat cover so it doesn't leak out of the thermostat cover during the process. Um, then, instead of cutting my heater hose, um, I decided to get a three-quarter inch length of hose, uh, pull the uh, heater hose off the top of the engine, and attach my T to that. And that way, when I'm done, I put this hose back on, and I don't have this T in there. Um, and I don't have a, a possibility of a leak. Um, I attach the hose, and the petcock on the radiator is closed, and all we're gonna do is turn on the pressure. We don't want too much pressure because you could damage the heater core, um, but you want a little bit more pressure than what flows out of the radiator when you're draining it. And I'm just gonna turn this on and then I'm going to wait for the, uh, the the gas bottle to start to fill up with water and at that point I'll run the engine for, for three minutes. Oh, and uh, when we run the engine we're going to put the heater on fan blowing full force. This may take a couple minutes till the till water starts to get into the degas bottle because we're the system holds 4.8 gallons. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I've hooked up some PVC to the top of the degas bottle and I'm running it into a bucket. That way when it does start to overflow it's going to go into the bucket. And a five gallon bucket should be plenty to run the engine for three minutes with the overflow. Okay, we got water starting to come in.
don't have to wait for the heater to go on because there's no thermostat. Right. One more minute. Okay. Set the bar off and then turn the motor on. That's it. And then we'll um, dispose of this wastewater responsibly. Absolutely. And then uh, we'll drain the uh, radiator again uh, to get everything out. Sweet.